Member for Burnaby North. Speaker. This year, Eileen Daly turns 25. That's the swimming pool, that is. And it's a Burnaby Jewel. Located beside Confederation Park, it's part of a recreation hub that includes the McGill Library, a senior centre, and a youth clubhouse. One of the features that makes Eileen Daly Pool so unique is the two-storey high window wall, which brings in an abundance of natural light and lets us look out over the North Shore Mountains while we swim, soak in the hot tub, or chat with our neighbours while our kids are taking swimming lessons. This pool is an important gathering place. From early morning aqua fit to friendships forged among regular attendees in the gym or while easing aching joints in the whirlpool and catching up on local news, Eileen Daly not only keeps our bodies strong, it keeps our hearts and minds nourished. A couple of weeks ago, I was visited here in the Legislature by two Grade 5 classes. I asked them if they'd ever gone swimming at Eileen Daly. Almost every hand went up. I asked them if they knew who Eileen Daly was. Almost every hand went down. So I told them about her. Eileen Daly was an educator and a political figure. She was a school trustee and chaired the Burnaby School Board. She went on to represent Burnaby North in the legislature for 20 years. And she was a New Democrat. During the Dave Barrett government, Daly served as Deputy Premier and Minister of Education. Eileen Daly is perhaps best known for banning the strap in schools. That was the piece of information that most impressed those grade fives. <laughs> but let's not forget that she also introduced a mandatory kindergarten and created the first First Nations school board in the province. Celebrating the 25th anniversary of the Eileen Daly Pool is a fitting way to remember this remarkable woman in whose honour it's named. And as the current MLA for Burnaby North, I strive to live up to her memory. Thank you.